Yeah, it's like we always see him out wide. You saw earlier that big touchdown that Prodigy had to really seal him the victory with Mostert over the top. So it's a nice little two-headed attack here with Barkley and Mostert, a really effective offensive scheme. They're down and four. Can TD Barrett get the stop? No, he's going to drop back to pass out of the strong eye formation. Good coverage to the right side, but left oh, side. There's the man. That's a big man to leave open. Hernan Davis oh, to the 22. Reliable, man. Great laser right there. Goes to What's up, guys? I want to talk about Noah's really solid little strong close money route that he would go to in critical situations in his game against TD Barrett. What's up, guys? If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name's Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And really what I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about was my channel. My channel is designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21 through tips and strategies that we break down both on the offensive side of the ball as well as on the defensive side of the ball. And if you're interested in that, we upload four videos a day. We upload uh, videos at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. every single day Eastern time. And then we also um, live stream and answer your Madden questions live every single night on our live stream uh, right here on our YouTube channel at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. All right, guys, so Noah is one of my favorite players to study. He's one of my favorite players to watch. And uh, what you notice about Noah this year, I feel like is just kind of the evolution um, of the amazing Madden player that he is kind of becoming, uh, both on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball. And I wanted to just break down a simple um, play setup that he used out of the strong close formation. Now, Noah was running the strong close from the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. The same play can also be found in the West Coast playbook. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the West Coast playbook, so I've thought about doing a full scheme out of the West Coast playbook. If you would like that, please let me know in the comments of this video. But what we're going to show you here is this comes from the strong close, and the play that Noah was using on the play we just watched was the play FL Drive, uh, and Noah has a tight end apprentice on his tight end. So we're just going to break this down uh, really, really quickly uh, for you. And essentially, the route combination that he used was very, very simple. And um, if, I, if I remember correctly, he had the ball on the right hash. I'm not sure how much of a difference that really truly makes for this play. Um, I know it makes a little bit of a difference, but uh, it's, it's really just a simple yard gainer that Noah went to with a couple of combinations in it that I'm excited to break down. So first and foremost, the first thing he did, and whenever you see a post route like this to Mike Evans, a skinny post route, you always want to smart route it. As a general rule, one of the best ways to run these posts is to make sure that you're smart routing. So I'm going to smart route Mike Evans. The next step was obviously you have this really nice little shoot flat route to the fullback. In case TD Barrett was not playing hard flats, maybe he was blitzing and only playing curl flats, he had the opportunity to be able to take that flat zone if the opportunity uh, presented itself. The next thing that he did was he took his tight end and he put him on a little post route, a little, little 10 yard uh, post route that's going to come across the formation. And then the last thing he did was he put his right of screen slot uh, or right, right, right of screen uh, wide receiver on a slant route. And this is because Noah's plan is to motion the slant from right to left. That's going to get it unbumpable and allow it to really do a good job of beating man to man coverage. And because of that flat zone, uh, or I'm sorry, that flat route that the fullback is on, it's going to allow Chris Godwin to be able to be pass led very easily against most of the zone coverages that Noah might have faced. So on this specific play, uh, TD Barrett went to some Mabel coverage, you know, very, very simple Mabel coverage here out of the nickel 335, and I believe it was the nickel 335 wide. But what you're going to see here is just basically we're going to run hard flats. You know, that's really what it boils down to. And on this specific play, I believe he had this play flipped, but uh, we'll just kind of create this element. But this is kind of what you're seeing right here, right? Mabel coverage with one, uh, with one backer in the middle field, and this is kind of the robber. Right, this is the user. This is where TD Barrett's going to try to basically, um, you know, user one route, and then maybe jump onto another route. But with this combination of routes, you really put the user in a bind, and you're not necessarily able to always do that effectively. So what you're going to see on this is that quick flat is going to be taken away, right? But now it's just a basically read of do they go to the slant route or do they go to the post route? Now right there, I don't know why, but that that um, that linebacker matched out of that cover three, um, primarily just I think because of the formation that we're in. But let me show you really quickly what's going to happen and what Noah really saw was essentially TD Barrett bit down on the flat. And so Noah wisely um, 
just ended up taking his 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 underneath, uh, which is exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation uh, from this right here. So we'll see again that cover three with those deep halves um, inside. Just a simple little rush here, nothing too crazy. But what you'll notice is again that post route slant route combination with the skinny post. And we'll show you why that skinny post effective in just a second. What you'll see is that slant does such a good job of being able to come underneath the zones. And again, if the user jumps to the slant, then you throw the post. If he jumps to the post, then you throw the slant. That's the primary thing um, that you need to know. Now, let's say, for example, that um, let's say that he was in man-to-man -man coverage. What's really nice about this little route combination here is that you get three routes that are going to consistently win against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the little shoot flat route to this backer uh, sometimes will win. It just depends on who's in man coverage on him. As you can see, that little motion slant is going to do a really good job of getting that inside position against man-to-man -man coverage. And then also what you have here is this skinny pose. Let's say that he was going with maybe... Um, you know, maybe he was going with some something like this, right? This is kind of the meta man-to-man -man coverage. You got those two purple zones on the outside. This skinny post, what that route is going to do a really good job of is it's going to do a really good job of getting the inside position right here. I mean, if you get this little motion snap, get both of these guys unpressed, and if there's no safety in the middle of the field, you can hit that deep route um, right up the middle for a big play. So this strong close is a really, really powerful offense. Um, and um, if you're looking to take your offensive game to the next level, I actually have a full ebook out right now on my New England Patriots offense, which uses some of these same principles that you saw in the strong close with the motion slant, the tight end apprentice, and some of the crossing routes. But it actually has over 36 formations broken down with over 300 pages of material and over 20, uh, over 30 videos with over over um, 10 hours of video breakdowns for you. So it's going to show you step by step how to build a complete offense in Madden 21. I believe the New England Patriots is the most balanced playbook in Madden 21. And so if you're looking for an offense that's just simply consistent and balanced and always will guarantee you to get points, I would highly recommend you check out that ebook. That link is in the description. And if you would like a free sample to that offensive guide, all you got to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text message and I'll shoot you back a sample formation that we did for the New England playbook. It's got a video in it that's over one hour. We literally gave our text message members over an hour of a sample um, to this amazing playbook. So uh, be sure to take advantage of that. If you want to see more things from uh, the strong close, these two back sets, let me know in the comments. Um, we have also a nice video out on the single back wing flex close on our YouTube channel. And if you need the link to that, just shoot me a text and I can shoot you all the information. But thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Again, this is a really simple passing concept. Uh, from the strong close, but I think it's very, very effective just because it pins and pulls and kind of puts the user in a little bit of a bind in the middle of the field. So great, uh, great play by Noah. Our next video is going to be live at eight or at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. So make sure to uh, come back to the channel, check that out. We're going to have some inside the mind gameplay where I show you kind of my thoughts um, as I play a live online match. We will probably be using our New England offense. So you can kind of get a little taste of of what that looks like. Um, and then we will also be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. Again, probably using that, that New England guide so you can see just how powerful of an offense it really is. So thank you guys so much for your time. If you have any questions until then, shoot me a text. My number's in the top left. It's also in the description of this video. And we'll see you guys later.